palms Leave screaming. Them alone. Bloody mouth spring crimson with each syllable. More strickling down her wrist as she viciously struggles against the abrasive ties binding her to the window sill. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it, stop it. Oh. Ashi though retreats to the far corner of the room, shadows enveloping the eight foot behemoth. Saving the misery he zestfully causes, his gaze darts between me and my mom as we watch my six-year-old sister bleed out on the floor. <laughs> as she was lying on her stomach, her wrists are shackled and slit behind her back. Blood has soaked her white nightgown scarlet and has begun to pull around her, reducing her terrified cries of pain to a hollow, earthy groan. Please, please let them be. I'm the one. I'm the one who made the deal. Please. Please, they have nothing to do with this. Please, just let my children go! My mom whimpers desperately, but her pleas are falling on deaf ears. Zashi, those sadistic grins just widening. I'm doubled on the cold stone floor, unable to recover from the barrage of cinder block like fists and knees he's just pulling me with. However, over the pain, I notice it. The instant when I am the only one left groaning in pain. My mom sinks to her knees, moaning at my little sister's limp, blood-stained corpse. Stop it, stop it. I want to scream or cry or react in any way appropriate for a 12-year-old who's just lost his baby sister. But I can't. I'm physically shut down. I'm too, too shocked to do anything but lie on the floor and stew in this misery. <laughs> My mom's moan and bitter through a sanguinary growl, she savagely struggles against her ties. Row fibers bite deep in her wrists, exposing flesh, but she vehemently continues laboring herself free, overcome by a maternal bloodlust. Before I know it, she snatches up one of Ashido's toys and charges at him, clutching the broad blade and shivering scarlet hands, she maliciously slashes at the monster. He lazily bats the blow to the side with his meat cleaver. Shit! Shit! Fuck! Shit! Cursing in an audible fury, she grunts to free her machete from the floorboards. Whereas Ashi though just turns to me. What about you, Theo? I just killed your sister. Hmm? Nothing? <laughs> Don't! Don't you even look at her! Snarls mom, trying to equip her weapon. Delicious as your reaction was, I've seen everything I want from you. Goodbye. Before she can react, Ashi though casually jerks his hatchet. <laughs> Mom's head Mom. hits the ground. A decapitated blood gushing trunk follows. The electric numbness sizzling my nerves has just kicked into a whole nother gear. As I lie on the cold floor, I realize the beast intently eyeing my physically and internally crippled carcass. Come on, Theo. You have to give me something. I just orphaned you. Anything? Deceptively swift for a man of his daunting stature, he pounces on me. Grabbing a tuft of my hair, he wrenches me to my knees and holds his cleaver to my left eye. Why don't you cry for me a little? Dragging it down my face, carving a gash down to my jawline. I feel the warm blood on my face, but I don't respond. This fucked up reality is confined me to my own head. Watching those eyes itch with discontent, irked, he arches up and takes a deep breath. The door explodes open. Dawn's pink light pours in, encasing a sinister shadow. An amused smile creeps on Ashido's face, but before he can continue, Ashido is shrieking on the floor. He covers his bloody face, trying to keep his shattered jaw from falling off. With no one holding my head up, I collapse, facing the door, staring at the shadowy figure. The, the very one who's staring right back. Shut up, dumbass. I'm lying on a wet pillow, brow moist with sweat, staring up at my pissed off cousin. It's three in the stupid morning. Um, what I do? What I do? You're screaming in your sleep again. Aren't you a little too old for night terrors? She sneers, but I stay silent. I can see she's guessed what I was dreaming about. Because I can see her features grow a little softer. Her voice a little kinder. Oh. 
Well, since I'm up now, want a late night snack? I think we've got some. But I merely roll over, not in the mood for share time. She's trying to come up with some policy that doesn't address the elephant in the room. But it weren't her fault. Um, I'm, I'm fine. Just go back to sleep. You got work in the morning. <sighs> Fuck, don't look at me like that. Orn, screw you very much for the pillow. Grinning sheepishly. Muttering about some great breakfast she's probably going to poison me with. My cousin retreats to haggle a few more hours from the Sandman. <sighs> Leaving me wide awake. Afraid to go back to sleep. Afraid to repick that eight-year-old scab.